Impression of Atlantic City, and what have you taken in so far coming coming here? <laughs> well, it's got very snowy, so we haven't we've never seen it with snow before, so right. this is a first, you know. Right. We, and uh, yeah, it's it's always good fun to come to Atlantic City. There's a lot going on, you know, bustle, hustle. Did you have a chance to take in the quarter at all? Go see uh, any shows, movies? Uh, what'd you say? I saw Avatar last. How was Avatar? Oh, at the IMAX theater. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Very Roger Dean. <laughs> what can we expect tonight here in the Tropicana showroom from Yes? Oh, just a fantastic load of music and lights and sound and great performances. <laughs> um, but this is certainly the biggest opportunity I've had to, to um, develop my career. And um, you, to be fair, you couldn't be working with better people to get inspired by. So hopefully it will just get better and better. No, I never changed any arrangements to any of the original records or any of the songs. The only thing that we did do which was a, an arrangement of something was one of Chris's songs that we put in on the first tour. He had a new piece of music and I did a piano arrangement for it. But I haven't gone changing anything. <laughs> we, we pretty he's much he, he's just played the right notes. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of the lots of the original notes are right, and that's that's the approach we use. You know, Chris and I, and, and all all of the players. You know, we like we like the original arrangement. Don't like to change that too much. In fact, you know, we love doing things you know, very much like the originals, if possible. What was the greatest moment in your musical career? Oh, there have been so many. So I mean, there, there really have been a great. Uh, uh, times with yes, I mean back in, in England in the in the early 70s, uh, uh, we had a lot of um, you know g great uh, innovations in the band with Roger Dean stage sets and laser light shows and uh, and then we went on and did uh, multiple nights at Madison Square Garden. So they, and the spectrum, a, a lot of stepping stones in the round, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, and the Spectrum, Madison Square Gardens, they were both... Yeah, the places. Spectrum. But, yeah. 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 We got a, one quick question we here. We always love playing Philadelphia, that's for sure. Chris, who's your biggest inspiration? Oh, I, 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 a lot of people that I, I grew up um, in music with uh, influenced me from the Beatles to the Stones to uh, uh, the Who, uh, you know, one of my, my favorite bands when I was, I was a teenager. Is it true that John Anderson introduced you to the band? Well, no, actually, Chris and, and John both saw me playing in different bands. Uh, Chris saw me in a group called Tomorrow. John saw me in a group called Bodas down the Speakeasy Club. And then, um, you know, when they, when they had the vacancy, so to speak, uh, then I got asked to come down and play. And really, the, you know, it really, it, it, there was some chemistry straight away. You know, as soon as I saw Chris and, and Alan, we started playing together. Good. There was something going on, you know, with Bill and, and Tony Kaye. Well, I'm John. glad that you passed the audition. Yeah. Has any of you guys ever bothered to count the lineup changes and what number would you no, be on I now? Bet you, <laughs> I, I bet you know, though. <laughs> I think it went over 18 different members some, some years 18, ago. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and that's one reason why we'll never be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, because they can't oh, be yes. 18 Oh, uh, you will. <laughs> you will. Who wants to see Yes in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Who wants to see Yes in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Tonight, here at the Tropicana Showroom, Yes is performing. Let's hear it for Yes! Thank you so much, gentlemen.